Hello, Sapiens! Today, I'm going to tell you about the sad life cycle of salmon. The life cycle of salmon begins as eggs up in rivers. Once the eggs hatch, they will have to dig out of the gravel that they are buried in and survive being eaten by predators. Already a very bad start. But then it gets worse because a little after they have hatched, they will have to swim downstream and into the ocean. The path that they take downstream and into the ocean is a perilous path. They have to survive being sliced by sharp rocks, being thrown around in waterfalls and sharp bends in rivers. Also, they have to survive more predators. Once they reach the ocean, it doesn't get any easier from there. However, they have one benefit. They have already memorized the smell of their home river. That will come into use later. The salmon, once they reach the ocean, have an even worse fate. They have to survive even more predators. They have to survive being hunted by humans, eaten by sharks, picked up by pelicans, or speared by something else. In the ocean, one of the most dangerous predators are humans. In the first way, which is pollution, because humans pollute the ocean with oil and plastic, and oils and plastics can harm or poison the salmon, lowering their population. Another way humans can harm the salmon population is through overfishing. Overfishing is when fishermen uh, use these massive nets to catch thousands of fish. Usually, in these thousands of fish, they don't always get the fish they're looking for and instead get something different entirely. Like, for example, salmon. Salmon is one of the most accidental catches in mass fishings. Another method of fishing that is not really used anymore is bomb fishing which is extremely harmful to the environment. Anyways, if they manage to survive that dangerous area of their life cycle, they move on to the hardest part of their entire life cycle. They must follow their smell, uh, they must use their noses to smell their way back into their home rivers. And they must go up the rivers to go to their childhood homes. The salmon have a very sensitive nose that they use to pick up the smell of their home rivers. Once they find it, they will dart towards there in this massive worldwide migration. And during this great salmon migration, the salmon parents must traverse their ultimate obstacles waterfalls. Waterfalls are nearly impossible to cross if you're a normal fish, but salmon are no normal fish. They have incredibly powerful tail muscles. They use these muscles to propel themselves up and over the waterfalls and to their original grounds. And throughout this journey, they must again avoid being sliced by sharp rocks and avoid being eaten by predators like bears or kingfishers. And once they make it to their original mating grounds, they will reproduce and the parent salmons will eventually, because their bodies are already starting to decompose, they will lie near their mating site and die. Now, because the babies need a source of food, the source of food they're going to use are their parents' dead bodies. 
And this just shows the amount of effort and sacrifices that parents put in to make sure that their children live a happy life. Sorry, I meant a sad life.